23 people have lost their lives in a fire that broke out after a gas tanker exploded at a ceramics factory in the Sudanese capital of Khartoum. 18 Indians have been killed in this incident. There were 68 Indians in the factory when this blast happened. Now, away from that, in a clear sign of growing warmth in ties between India and the Maldives, uh, four projects were jointly inaugurated by Prime Minister Modi of India and the President of the Maldives, Ibrahim Mohamed Sali, which included lighting up the city of Malé with over 2,500 LED lights. India gifted inshore patrol vessel CGS Kamiabu to Maldives National Defence Force Coast Guard, which, according to President Soli, will be a valuable asset to protect the maritime border. Five executive and three technicians of the 28-metre vessel were trained in India as part of a pre-commissioned training. The Maldives had requested for this vessel during the Maldives Defence Minister's India visit. India will be building a cancer hospital and a cricket stadium in the Maldives as well. This was announced by Prime Minister Modi during his video conference with the Maldivian President. As Prime Minister Modi himself summed up the new dynamic with Malé, it has been a significant year. I would like to congratulate you on the first anniversary of your term. It has also been a significant year for India-Maldive relationship. My government's neighborhood first and your government's India first policies have made our bilateral cooperation in all sectors more strong. The Maldives also joined the growing list of countries like Bhutan, Singapore, the United Arab Emirates, Bahrain and Saudi Arabia to allow the use of rupee payment mechanism which is India's answer to Visa and MasterCard. And to deal with the issue of climate change, Malay City will from today be lit up by LED bulbs. The LED street lights are gifted as part of the collaboration between the two countries in the field of energy efficiency and renewable energy. And joining us right now is our principal diplomatic correspondent Siddhan Subal to give us more details. So Siddhant, uh, it's been a, a momentous year as far as uh, India-Maldives uh, ties are concerned and that has just been brought up another notch with these new projects that are being jointly developed by the two countries. Well, yes, Krishna, it's a major outreach program uh, by the Indian government under its neighborhood first policy. In fact, uh, uh, it, it has been one year since the Soli government has been in power in Maldives and there have been a number of high-level engagements uh, between the two countries. The Indian Prime Minister has been to Maldives two times. In fact, he was in Maldives and chose Maldives as his first foreign destination in his second term. Uh, the Maldivian president was in Delhi uh, last year in December, in fact, December of 2018, so it marks one year since his historic visit and we do expect the Maldivian foreign, visit, uh, foreign minister to visit India very soon. In mid-December he will be visiting uh, New Delhi but uh, talking about the projects, four projects were launched and two projects were announced which includes the cancer hospital and of course a cricket stadium but um, talking about the projects uh, which were launched uh, a major one was the vessel which was gifted by India to Maldives, a vessel Kamiab, of which eight personnels on that vessel are trained here in India. In fact, when the Maldivian Defence Minister came to India earlier this year when she spoke exclusively to Vion, uh, that is the time when the Maldivian Defence Minister asked for this vessel that will help Maldives to make sure uh, it can patrol its maritime borders. By and large, the message from New Delhi from the Indian Prime Minister when he spoke uh, to his counterpart earlier this, uh, uh, this uh, earlier today. The focus was that India is there for development and democracy and will help Maldives in all its assistance, all its development and provide all assistance to the Indian Ocean Island country. Satan Sibyl, our principal diplomatic correspondent, uh, joining us uh, with that uh, live update uh, from India's capital, New Delhi. Thank you, Satan, for being with us here on We On Dispatch. Thank <laughs> you.